as in the upper right hand corner of the map we have from Axiom Acer. It is Hart, our red Terran player. He went pretty huge last week, taking down three players before falling to cats. And uh, we'll see how he can do here this week as he goes up against Adominus, the Blue Pros player from Cascade to begin with. So how's everyone doing in the chat? Welcome to the stream. Shout out to the Axiom guys who are also uh, hosting up the stream. Crank and Hart, thank you very much for the uh, host guys, if you're watching. Well, I guess Hart isn't watching because he is um, he is uh, currently playing, but... Um, but yeah, so uh, shout out to everyone who's hitting the follow button as well. There's been a few of you guys so far today. So thank you for your support, guys. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Of course, we've got so much SE to improve Team League action coming your way in the next few um, over the next few weeks. Um, we might actually not have very much next week because uh, I think we're going to be taking a break for one week so that uh, teams can organize around WCS a little bit more easily as well as the fact because I'm away. So... Um, so yeah, there may be a little bit of a break, a little bit of downtime in the competition next week. Um, but don't worry, because we'll be back in full force the week afterwards. And of course, we've still got a lot of matches to come this week. This is actually only our second match here from week two. Um, Liquid vs. Invasion Esports will be our match uh, short. Will be our m third match as we're going to be going into that uh, from replays straight after this. Again, they're playing live right now, but um, just an unfortunate case of can't really... Um, can't really... Um, cast two matches at the same time and also I didn't know about the Liquid Invasion Esports match until literally like 10 minutes ago so um, they didn't uh, submit their match schedule as they should and unfortunately they will both receive a warning for it. We won't be harsh enough to give them a penalty point uh, for first defence but they will receive a warning for this so <laughs> not, not, that, that, not that it's that big of a deal but it is important that they submit their schedules because we do want to be able to stream the games we want to tell you guys when they are this Reaper here is uh, going to see no Nexus on the natural of the uh, bottom right base. He's going to head towards the bottom left. Uh, it's just been a pretty standard opening here for Hart. Continues to mine gas, so he's going to have uh, a factory on the way down. As this uh, Reaper will run on by this ne natural Nexus. And uh, nothing too crazy here from Adonis to begin with. I mean, just a single gas expand, stalk and mothership go out. Nothing crazy at all, really. And, you know, Adonis, he does very often, you know, he really does love Stargate play and especially even in, especially in PvT and there's the Stargate coming down right now he loves to go kind of Phoenix Colossi so you know quite often we do see him go for a uh, f double gas expand or getting that second gas you know just get that second gas a lot earlier just so you can get the Stargate up a bit quicker and try and do a little bit of damage a little bit earlier on um, Starport ad added on here now from Hart as he starts up a Widow Mine and I wonder if um, Adonis maybe just goes straight into Phoenix and skips the initial Oracle um, that could definitely be a possibility and actually be fantastic against the open which Hart is going for here because he's going to be able to lift up mines, he's going to be able to uh, shoot down medevacs, he's going to be able to do pretty much anything he wants as we're going to jump up here into the natural and up into the main base just afterwards as well. So um, Reaper comes in into the main and uh, this stalker has uh, been shooting away at this uh, Reaper, a bit of a misclick there, hits his nexus and Reaper will actually go down. Which is a little bit of a shame. What did Hard actually scout then? Well, he sees the Stargate, he sees the Oracle being made, so that also answers our question as to will Adonis skip the Oracle? No, he will not. Um, so he's going to go into that. As uh, so we also have a robotics facility coming down here for Adonis. So um, pretty standard stuff so far. Is the Stalker going to sit over towards this third base for now? And, um, and yeah. What happened to the wall clock? Asks my spew, um, M Y S B Y U. I can't, I can't think how to say that right now. Um, the wall clock, I took it down because someone said it annoyed them and they would sub if I took it down, so I took it down and they subbed. So I'm literally taking down wall clocks for money. <laughs> um, so Oracle going to head up to the upper left. Uh, I guess Adonis hasn't scoured just yet, so he doesn't know where his opponent is right now. Um, Robo Bay coming down here very quickly for him. And again, I'd expect to see some Phoenix coming out of this because, again, he just does really love this Phoenix Colossus style. So we'll be keeping an eye on that Stargate, keep an eye on the production tab for those coming up, perhaps. As uh, First Oracle going to come in towards the natural. Bunch of Marines and Mud Mine, not buried, but um, enough to uh, deflect this Oracle here for now. And uh, he will just drop the Revelation. And this is pretty cute. Uh, going to be able to see these units moving across the map, for example. Uh, although that's not really going to be the case because we actually have a medevac with two mines in it already heading across the map here. Do you have an observer out? No, we do not. So it's just going to be the oracle for detection here early on as we do see that first phoenix starting up. Uh, but these mines are going to get a little bit of damage done. He's going to have to. Okay, he starts an observer now. So uh, how much attention is he paying? Not enough. 
And it's going to be a big hit on the widow on the probes. Eight workers killed. And Donovan is not paying attention to his natural just then. Drops the phone overcharge here in his main. As uh, this widow mine is going to drop off here anyways. And uh, shouldn't be too much damage done. We'll get that cleaned up. The observer was in position. Medivac gets away though. And uh, hot. With eight workers killed, that's going to be more than what he was uh, probably really expecting to get done here. Dominus has to be very careful because this is about to come off cooldown. The observer is on its way over. Just going to get that in time. And that uh, does clean it up here. So first Phoenix comes out. And that's something as well this Medivac will have spotted. Or did it not, maybe? Mm, I guess I guess not. Uh, my 40 would have seen the... Uh, I mean, he definitely went over the Stargate. So maybe, maybe he did, maybe he didn't. But uh, I feel as though he should have been able to see the uh, Phoenix production already at this point, but um, that's just a little bit unfortunate as we have this uh, Medivac heading across the map here and uh, another Widow Mine dropping off into the natural as uh, Phoenix is actually going to start chasing down this Medivac so this isn't really going to be able to get away. Single Marine into the main base as well and another Medivac actually heading directly towards the main as um, Phone Overcharge is popped down to uh, deal with the Single Marine. A little bit of an overreaction there. Two kills on this, uh, or two kills overall, one kill on this Widow Mine on the natural. And it uh, might even be worth just investing in a second uh, observer at this point. Because it's getting a little bit annoying. Running to left, to right, to left, to right. As it's going to be the same again here. Four marines, two uh, mines dropping off here in the main base. And Adonis is going to start pulling his probes here. And just about going to get away. And oh, okay. One of the mines goes into the uh, gas. The other one gets a kill. Um, but pretty nice uh, cleanup actually. I mean, not really too much further damage being done here. As, um, again, I guess now Hart does spot the, the second Stargate. So he knows it's going to be a lot of Phoenix coming out of his opponent here. He's beginning to move across the map. A handful of Marauders. Oh, actually quite a few Marauders. Four Marauders and uh, then a bunch of Marines behind it as well. So let's see what he can get done with this. As Donovan is already dropping his third Nexus. So coming up at the same time as the third Command Center for our Terran player. Hart does have plus one already upgraded. And Stimpak's about to finish as well. Ready for this attack. He does have Combat Shields finished as well. So, I mean... He's, he's gonna have, it's a pretty strong attack timing, um, more so than anything if you can start pulling your opponent apart, but a second Colossus comes out, and uh, I mean, we're going to be up to five Phoenix here very shortly, and uh, if you've ever seen, well, I mean, Phoenix Colossus can get very powerful with five Phoenix, I mean, you can come in and lift up a lot of units as they try and retreat, etc., as a single Marine at the front here, going to take a little bit of damage here to begin with. Now, because Adonis has been investing so much into those Phoenix, he has to give up other things. Otherwise, you know, he wouldn't be able to afford the Phoenix. So he hasn't got any upgrades right now. He's got very few, you know, in fact, he's got really no sentries. He's got the single sentry from earlier in the game. Um, so he doesn't really have many force fields. Again, so he, he has given up some things to be able to get at these Phoenix instead. He's actually setting up a bit of a wall here. Um, I assume so these units can't just kind of uh, stim through. As uh, Scan comes down, just going to check for observers as hard, maybe thinking of loading up and just going straight in towards the main base here. Very risky though, again, with the Phoenix, which are out. You know, if you get caught mid-air, you know, you're going to lose a lot of your army. So Hart has to be very, very careful here. As uh, more and more Colossi joining up. And uh, some more Phoenix being added on as well, as he does load up three Medivacs worth of units. So they're going to head over towards the left-hand side. Oracle moving out. He's going to see a little bit of this army, but not very much of it. As the Revelation drops down, the Oracle will just about be able to get away. Oh, but I think he's recognized it. I think he realizes there's just not enough army there to, uh, you know, compared to what he should be seeing. So he's uh, moved the Phoenix into a bit of a better position. As uh, Scan comes down, he sees just these three Colossi on his own. And uh, these Medivacs, they're not going to commit anywhere. They're just going to fall back for now. These Phoenix still just uh, sitting tight. Plus one air attacks on the way. Forge coming down as well. So finally going to start investing in his upgrades. As the Terran is already going to be on plus one, plus one. And with four Vikings being made at a time, he really is building up to just a big attack here. As uh, Dom is just happy to sit on these three bases for now, apparently. He's not moving out. He's not really doing anything. A few more pylons being added on. Uh, Medivacs lift up once again. And Dominus is uh, hes on the hunt a little bit here. He's uh, thinking, you know... All these, well, all these units and these medivacs are going to boost away. Um, the Phoenix aren't going to be able to kill anything. And uh, medivacs, very close though. Very, very scary moment for them there. As uh, they will survive for now. As the SCVs are being pulled. Wow. I don't know if this works. You know, with a wall off here. Four Colossi out. I mean, how many uh, how many Vikings do you have? Twelve. I, I mean, but there's twelve Phoenix out as well, guys. you got to remember that. This is going to be very interesting here as uh, an Oracle runs into the army, he sees what's up and he's going to start moving over into position. Looks as though Adonis was thinking of taking a fourth base here uh, as uh, he's starting to try and add on some cannons. These uh, first workers are going to go down very, very quickly. Starts pulling the Colossi back, the Phoenix are going to get to work on the Vikings here but already two Colossi down and only two remaining. 
And uh, this is not looking so great for Dominus at all right now. The Claws are able to hit in a little bit from the left-hand side. Still, uh, these Vikings having trouble doing much uh, against these Phoenix, but the third base does fall. Three Colossi in total, and the Vikings take down another one of those very, very quickly here. As uh, the Phoenix will just continue to take these down, but it's just not going to be enough. And Adonis going to end up losing pretty much everything. And uh, with the third base already gone, he uh, Hot's just going to be able to stem straight into the natural, and that will be GG called. And the game, the series, is evened up here. One game apiece, and again, Hot putting in work. And really